Hello, this is Vivian with Food and Style. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm going to demo a really yummy strawberry sorbet with a little bit of Garmagne into it to make it kind of a grown-up dessert. And when I was a child, my grandfather had a strawberry patch and every morning I would wake up and run back to the backyard and see if those strawberries had ripened. And I still remember to this day with great excitement eating that very first strawberry, that beautiful big red one. So when I was in my 20s, I moved to Vermont, as I've already mentioned in my videos. And I didn't have a garden planting strawberries anymore, but I had instead a very large strawberry patch because it was the Charlotte Berry Farm. I used to go pick strawberries in June, raspberries in July, blueberries in August. It was just, you know, it was just a wonderful experience. I used to get all the kids in the car, all my friends' kids, and we would just have a blast. And it would always reconnect me with that first experience of picking the strawberries in my grandfather's uh, strawberry patch. So today I will demo the recipe. It's a very simple one. Um, I recommend that you uh, buy them from the farmer's market or actually go pick them yourself. Let the kids eat the whole bulk of the strawberries, but don't forget to save a few for this dessert. The first thing you're going to have to do for this recipe is to haul all the strawberries. And here I have already hauled a whole bowl of them, but saved a few to show you. And uh, you just want to get rid of the, you know, the little green stems over here. And if you get a strawberry like this that has a um, unripened uh, part here, just make sure you cut that off because it's very hard. So here we are. Now we wanted one and a half pounds of strawberries for this recipe. Next thing will be to uh, juice a fresh lemon. And I never buy the stuff pre-juiced. I always like to juice my own. So you're going to put your strawberries in a food processor. Then add a tablespoon of lemon juice. A quarter cup of Grand Marnier. And two thirds of a cup of maple syrup. Now, you know, most sorbets use a simple syrup, but while I was living in Vermont, I decided to really get, you know, absorbed with all the local ingredients. And maple syrup is one of my favorite sweetener. Instead of making the simple syrup for sorbets, I always use it. And it has a lovely taste. It has wonderful nutrition. So it's a very easy um, thing to use for your sorbet. So now that we have our ingredients in the cuisine, we're going to close the machine and turn it on, and this is going to be a little noisy. Turn it off and scrape the sides. And basically, we're going to process this for another two minutes until it's very, very smooth. So here we go. It's been about two minutes. Our sorbet is beautifully pureed, as you see, very, very smooth. And basically, you're going to pour it in a bowl. And you're going to put this in the refrigerator until the base is well chilled. Our strawberry base is well chilled just out of the fridge. So you're going to put your cylinder in the machine. Here is our churner. And then you're going to pour the the strawberry base right into it. Make sure that you pull the churner, put the churner first before you pour the um, base in because otherwise it won't fit. All right. Put the lid. And this guy is pretty noisy. So usually when I make this for company and friends are coming over for dinner, I actually stick it in the guest room so that I don't have to listen to it. You'll see what I mean. about a good 20-25 minutes the sorbet as you see is really beautiful and, and strong so you're going to um, 
Wow, this one really came very nice and hard. So you're going to remove the churner out of it. And the one thing you want to make sure is to actually remove the sorbet right away and put it in a Tupperware. Don't leave it in there and stick it back in the freezer because it's going to become a humongous ice block and you'll never get it out. Make sure you do that. And to present our dessert, we're going to take a couple of nice scoops, put it in a beautiful glass bowl. Garnish with a little mint leaf and we're ready. You know, the sorbets are never better than when they are just made. So even if I have a dinner party, I don't make this ahead. I actually make it while the main course is busy cooking. So that by the time I serve it, it's just so fresh. It's so soft and delicious. It's almost as good as that first strawberry I would taste when I was a child in my grandfather's patch. So for this recipe and other recipes and videos, you can go to my website, which is foodandstyle.com. Happy cooking and bon appétit.